my peeps, good to see you. We're going to skip 103 because I think it's going to be too challenging uh, to teach this way. We're going to jump to 104. So, are your notes ready? Okay. Volume, capacity, and mass using the metric system. Okay, I'm going to give you some conversions that I need you to get down because you'll need to refer back to those as we work through the lesson. The first is this. So pause the video, jot this stuff down. We've got a cubic centimeter, which is a little smaller than a dice, contains one milliliter of water, and the amount that that water weighs is one gram. So imagine if you have like a little tiny coffee cup, little just little, little tiny cubic centimeter coffee cup, the water that that holds is one milliliter of water. If we poured the water out and weighed that water, that one milliliter of water, it would weigh one gram. So mass is how much something weighs. Also copy this down. The difference is we have 1,000 cubic centimeters of water. That's one liter of water, and that's one kilogram. To give you some perspective, this is almost a liter of water. So we're talking about this right there. So the amount of space in this bottle is about 1,000 cubic centimeters. It holds a liter of water, and this weighs about a kilogram, which is about 2.2 pounds. Okay, consider this fish tank. Here are the dimensions of the fish tank. I need you to calculate for me the volume. So again, if everything you need to pause, do the math before I do, do it because it's good to practice. So, length times width times height. Okay, so length times width times height gives us a volume of 40,000 cubic centimeters. In other words, if I had a little tiny cubic centimeter or a little cube, I could fill up this fish tank with 40,000 of those. So now it's on you to convert the volume into capacity. So take a second and do that. Alright, your capacity should be 40 liters of water. So again, I could take my Gatorade and fill this up 40 times, dump it in the fish tank, and that's the capacity that this fish tank can hold. So now, how much does that water weigh? Not the fish tank itself, not the glass, just the water inside. And we'd find it to be 40 kilograms. Remember, a kilogram is about 2.2 pounds, so this is over 80 pounds of just water alone. It's a lot, a lot of weight. Okay, pause the video. Give me the volume, capacity, and mass of this situation here. Okay, the capacity is 600 cubic centimeters. The, uh, I'm sorry, that's the volume. Volume. Capacity is, what, yes. It 
you're going to hold 600 milliliters of water, and that water weighs 600 grams. Or you can do it like this. 600 milliliters is a, uh, equal to 0.6 of a liter, and this much water weighs 0.6 of a kilogram. I will accept either way, but know that if this is above a thousand, you have to go to liters every time. Okay, here's our situation. Caden wants to find the volume of this vase. Now this is impressive because we can find the volume of something using water. So imagine trying to measure the volume of that shape. It'd be impossible. But we're going to use water to determine how much space is inside the vase. It's incredible how it works. Okay, so he fills a one liter beacon of water and then uses all but 280 milliliters to fill the vase. So if he uses all but 280, how much did he use to fill the vase? Now, here it says milliliters. Take a look down here. If cinta means 100, centipede, century, what does milla mean? means a thousand. So one liter in milliliters, well there's going to be 1,000 milliliters inside one liter. Okay, he takes it, he fills the vase, how much left over? About 280, so how much is in there? Seven hundred and twenty milliliters, and now look how easy it is to convert to the volume. How much space is inside the vase? The answer is seven hundred and twenty cubic centimeters. Incredible. How much does the water weigh inside there? It weighs seven hundred and twenty grams, or point seven. Two kilograms. Awesome job. All right, pause and try this. Okay, so remember one of your conversions, it had a thousand cubic centimeters. Well, divide this by a thousand and we'll see that the capacity is 1,000 liters of water and the weight of the water in this storage tank on the boat will be 1,000 kilograms. Again, that would be over 2,000 pounds, 2,200 pounds, a lot of weight. All right. I need you guys to tackle this A through Z. Again, if you don't have a book, I'll put the uh, questions up here for you. Proud of you. Keep it up.